Hello and welcome to a new video about augmented reality. We want to extend our experience with the HoloLens. Because we said it would be nice that we have some explanation what I can do with this model. And okay, it's nice that we can move it and so on. But however, we want to have some information. How can we place this information in our view? This I'm going to show you. So, Vufora Studio, start Vufora Studio, open the last project. Here it is. Here is the crane project. Still there, nice crane. I will exclude this one. This is working now, we know. So what we want to do, we want to place an information button with an eye sign on it. And whenever I press this information button, I should get some hints what I want to do, what I could do. To place something, I am using now 3D picture. So this is the 3D picture widget. I move it in here. And here I have to select the resource. So I all again have to upload one resource. So plus select file. It's working exactly the same as in as with the picture target. Yeah? Open. So I have my I button thing. Yeah? Add. And I will select the I button here. Uploaded I button. Here it is. Look at that. Yeah? I have to place it now. So I want to keep it I want to keep it that way. We could also use billboard. Yeah? In billboard it's always facing towards us. I personally do not like this a lot. This is why I don't click it then. You see it will it will be flat when watched from the side. So now we have to place it. X I will put zero. Yeah? Y, Z, let's say 20 centimeters in front of the wall. Mm -hmm. Then uh, Y coordinate, let's say minus 30 centimeter below. Mm -hmm. I have the button there. Should be. Oh, let's also say 30 centimeters in front of the wall. That I can reach it here in my, <laughs> in my room. Okay. So this is this is now my my I button. Good. Head not in. This one we got. Now I want to place information what possible actions are there. This one I will call I will call 3D image image I button. So the image I button. This is nice. Add another 3D image. Book. Yeah. Also here. Zero degree. Yeah. And here there are also standard pictures. And one of them is double tap. So I will simply use double tap. And I will also give this to set coordinate 0.3 it was. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Yeah, y coordinate we said minus zero dot minus zero dot three. I will place it at minus zero dot five. Yeah. So below maybe minus zero dot six. This looks good. Yeah. This looks good. So double that. This should only be visible if I press this button. So initial state not visible. Yeah. Here you can select if it shall be visible or not. Okay. So this is. This is 3D image, 3D image, and this is double tap. Okay, let's keep it. Let's also make a big eye huh, to keep it the same structure. Okay, so I will add now. Other 3D images back, another one, another one, simply to have it. So this will be swipe right then. 
There must be also swipe right somewhere. Swipe right. Yeah. And this will be swipe left. Swipe left. And they all have zero degree rotation. Zero degree rotation. Ooh, uh, this was not the rotation. This is zero degree rotation. Uh, X, Z, we said is zero dot three. Yeah. Here we are at minus zero dot six. Yeah. And this one I will put to the right hand side. So I will put 50 centimeters to the right. But this is movement. Here, coordinate. Okay, good. And this one, uh, x minus 0.5. Yeah. Y, we have minus 0.6. Z, we have 0.3. Here we are. Now, those are the things. Rename them. 3D image. Yeah. What was this now? The right one. Yeah. Swipe. Swipe right. And I will rename this one. 3D image swipe left. Mm -hmm. I know. Ready. Okay. So this and they shall also be not visible, not visible. Mm -hmm. Good. And if I press this button here, this I button, something shall happen. And I will code this again. Okay, so I will put simply a, a script again. So here is the crane chest. This is right now it's empty. And I will add with dollar scope, scape, scope, doggy info. This is my function. This I want to call. Okay. Whenever this I button is pressed here, book. Eh? Probably you cannot see it. Eh? Move this. Move this a little bit. Move this a little bit to the top. You see. Here now, I will call a uh, toggle info. The function toggle info will be called whenever I'm pressing this button. Click. Uh, make it big again. Good. Now I have to code this function. What shall happen? Uh, in scope. Application, view, we had this before. Yeah? And the view is called crane this time. Crane. So in this view, in the crane view, here, you see, it's the view crane. And the widget yeah, with the name, uh, how is it called? 3DI double, double tap. Okay? This widget, this one. Yeah? Yes, there are errors. And the visibility of this. We see oh, visible. Shall be exactly this, yeah, but not. Yeah. Explanation mark, not. So now we have altered the visibility of this uh, double tap, okay? And the rest, so from this double tap, I will also call now, let's see what I do here, uh, three, swipe right, swipe right, uh, Shall be exactly the same visibility, like the double tap, yeah? and swipe left also. Okay. 
So the first line here simply inverts the visibility of double tap and the other lines here, they are setting the visibility of the other widgets exactly to the visibility of the double tap. I think that's it. I think that's it. Am I sure? No. Preview. Ah, the I button is there. Good. Press. <laughs> it's there. Yeah. Information is there. We see what we can do. Press the I button again. Ah, really, it toggles. It toggles, it toggles. This is how this shell look like. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> so, I think we are ready. I think we are ready to publish. I think we are... Let's save it. Saved. Yeah. Now we are pressing publish. Of course, we need again the username and the password. Username, password. Login, publishing, publish ready. I think we are ready to check with the HoloLens. I'm always waiting for this moment. Always waiting for this moment. So, start the HoloLens. Start, ex watch, experience. Okay, so now I'm standing upright because last time I realized when standing these skis just they work better, they work better. Okay, so everything else is still the same. So I just have to scan this this thing back here. Yeah? See if this is working. Or working. And look at thing mark placed. Okay, here the crane is again. It is again pretty big. Yeah, and there is the eye sign. Yeah, shall be a little bit before. Yeah, and now I press it. Or not? Ah, oh, oh, there they are. Look at that. Double tap, swipe left, swipe right. I try, swipe left. Ah, uh, now it seems to work pretty well, right? Yeah, boy, it's funktioniert besser. It works better than before. Huh? Swipe left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is this is better. It's better. Double tap. What else? Yeah. What else you need? Yeah. Press again, close again. They are gone. Yeah. So a click is one tap. Yeah. Present. Gone. This is what I'm talking about. This is augmentation. This is how it should shall be. Yeah, look at that. Now it's working. Now I've adapted a little bit or now I found out if standing it's working much better. Or not. <laughs> uh, just have not to be too, too high in the air. This is how this is working. You see? There is room. Eh? There is room for this stuff. Eh? And it's a pretty impressive technology. Once you have worn it once, you know what I'm talking about. Okay? So, well, that's about it about augmented reality from my side. Yeah? 
there is more. Yeah, you could give, for instance, instruction. Yeah, to say, okay, take this part and put it there. So little animations and so on. Yeah. However, then we would need another type of of software still. Yeah. Again, maybe make it that way, because otherwise it might be rude. Yeah. Or I will simply sit down. Yeah. Put it. Ah, take it off. So maybe another type of software is necessary for that. Huh? This means basically we just have to use another type. Yeah? We will not do this. Yeah? If you are interested in, please ask me. Yeah? You could do animations. Yeah? You can make blink things and make it bigger or smaller. Or let's screw stripe it, something like that. And an interactive uh, book, simply description on how to mount something, dismount something, something like that. Yeah. yeah. So that's it in this in in this matter. Yeah. In this subject about augmented reality. I hope you have enjoyed a little bit. I hope you have also learned something. Yeah. And yeah. next thing we are going to do is we, we again are using augmented reality. However, the big topic will then be uh, Internet of Things. So things speaking to things, communication, things speak with things. Yeah. What they are talking about, we will see in this next series of video. Yeah. IoT, next catchphrase. Next buzzword. What is behind will then be in the next series of video. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.